Hi, I'm Ronnie from Ronnie's Garage. We hold monthly tech meets at my shop. And we have a misfortune here. One of our members had something fall down in the garage on the hood of his Silver Cloud 3. And as if you can see, there's a nice dent here. This is the fender. This is steel. This is thick. This is a high crown region. It's hard here. And it's going to be difficult to reach, but a, a good paintless dent guy can take that out. They'll use a heat gun to warm it up so the paint doesn't crack. And uh, hopefully we'll have great success. Hi, good morning. My name is Dan Rhodes. Company name is DR Dent Solutions. I was contacted by Steve to come out and take care of the dents in his Rolls Royce. We've got one up on the top of the fender, right on the inside of the body line. So different uh, lengths, shapes, sizes, everything is, uh, is leverage. So in most cases you have a, a fulcrum point to, to leverage from. So if you've got a large opening, larger dent, a larger rod, larger diameter, no deflection when you bend, so any pressure that's given you've got no loss in deflection. So it doesn't take very much pressure to have something like this push it out. You've got limited space, then you get into something that's smaller. So whereas that one you're prying off of a, of a point to leverage it out, this you're going to be in between two, two layers or two skins of steel and working on it. So the leverage point is the same. It's a shorter distance. It doesn't take a great deal of force or pressure to push it out. So all different shapes and sizes to get in various uh, tight confined spaces. And that's the full kit. That's it. You bring out everywhere just to make sure you brought I've everything. I always, always have them in my car, yeah. There's some really long ones too. Wow. Yeah. Four feet long. Wow. Not very fancy, but they work. So, we use a heat gun to not so much assist in the steel part of it, but for the paint. It gets nice and warm, the paint becomes pliable and won't crack. Denzel basically just pushed up with metal rods. That's pretty much it. Just years of experience are what really make it work. I use a light as a uh, source of reference. It casts across the panel and accentuates and makes the dent really stand out. And that's how I see what I'm doing. That's it. You're gonna get like really hot to the touch, is that what you're trying to do? Well, it's really cold this morning, so the panel's really, really cold. So if you heat it up lightly, it's just gonna dissipate so quickly. I'm trying to uh, heat up a pretty good area so it won't cool down quite as fast. And it goes to as hot as like uh, a hot summer's day or? Yeah, pretty much warm sun. I grew up in Colorado, and my first car I used to have to go to salvage yards to pick up parts. A lot of times you could tell when a car was damaged, what season, based on the condition of the paint. The paint's all cracked and peeling back. It was typically a winter hit.
reason for the uh, hammering and tapping is that a dent, if you were to look at it as a cross-section cut view of what a dent is, <clears throat> would look like a volcano. And everybody's common person's untrained eye would look at and see the dent or the, or the well as a focal point and not seeing the damage around it. It has a crown or a stretched ring around the top of it. As you lift it up, the crown becomes more pronounced and acts as a, as a tension or a stress against the steel or aluminum, whatever you're working on, and kind of holds the dent in place. As you bring it up and that increases or tightens up, you need to go back and, and relieve the tension by lightly bringing it down. So you're working basically both sides of the dent. So I've got it probably about 85-90% of the way right now.